Good morning everyone. It's getting a bit of a regular habit now, Monday mornings. Me and Laura out riding. Laura on a pony. Weren't you on Little Joe last Monday? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Monday mornings are for pony rides. Okay, so um, today is just to fill you in about the week really guys. Um, so I am on the amazing Percy. So this is actually Percy's third ride. We've managed to get all uh, get on with his assessments throughout the weekend, um, as well as competing and having family time and all the rest of it. I'm pleased to say that he's definitely ticking every box that he's supposed to. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I have actually taken a deposit on him. Um, his type, as you all know, is extremely hard to come by. So um, it was inevitable that he was going to be very popular. And I'm really happy that the girl that is um, actually having Percy um, is a um, excellent um, customer at C&G and gives our horses the most fabulous opportunities. So I will keep all of you updated through the weeks and um, things with little pictures when I see him uh, out and about and doing um, great things with his new owner. So I'm really pleased about that. Obviously here at C&G, we do still continue to ride them um, until they go to their home. So here we've got Laddie. Um, Laddie we owned uh, a little while ago and sold him. Actually, he went to the riding school who is also a really good um, client at C&G. They have uh, lots of uh, horses from us and he was just actually a little bit too quiet for the job he needed to do guys he was very good for the beginners and good for the uh, more experienced riders who could go and jump him and all the rest of it but they need really needed one for the intermediate and he was just a little bit too quiet for that job which is never a bad thing is it really um so laddie came back to us just this weekend and um also he's found a new home as well so he's now not available um so yeah look we call him laddie long legs because he's all leg but he's a great pony he's a good as gold he is so that's just what we are doing here this morning um we have got so the three horses on the updated list were percy laddie and big ben if you've seen big ben um, big ben is the big percheron that we've got and he's quite possibly the biggest horse that we've ever had here at cng um and when he stood next to lucy he even makes lucy look small lucy is our clydesdale mare who is sold but um she's waiting to go to her new home so that's why she's still with us so you will see her on from time to time on some photos and videos um so ben will start his assessments here tomorrow we just haven't had time to start that yet today but he's come from the same home as percy um and he um has only come to us because his family have actually um given up completely um their foster parents and they've decided to um give up the horses so ben has been ridden by novices um he also school oh, standing on stone good boy purse um ridden by uh, novices he's ridden in a school hacking out all the rest of it he's very very big but he's so gentle and he's so well mannered lovely he, he's the sort of horse guy that is a total honor to own i mean there's not going to be many around like him he is just wonderful to look at so there'll be a lot more of him to come um over the, the course of this week um we've also got another horse come in who we have um also previously owned and um she didn't she, she'd gone actually to a really nice family um to be fair and her owner um doesn't feel she's suitable um for the daughter who wants to go and do riding club pony club and you know what it's like as a teenager you expect a lot for the horses and actually she's quite stiff behind the mares um so she's not going to be suitable oh, oh Percy's walking into the bush she's not going to be suitable to do that job so she's here and we're going to find a, a home um somebody who wants like a light hack that sort of thing because she is actually stiff behind so please look out for her info um she will firstly appear on our instagram story if you're watching this on youtube or facebook if you're watching it on insta then you'll already know um and she's 15 hands and eight years old so she'd be a great light hack or um companion or broodmare even um 
if you wanted to. Lovely natured mare, and she's a pie ball cob, um, and she she will be priced accordingly. Um, so those of you that know the prices of horses at the moment are through the roof. Um, so if any of you are wanting to just have a light hack um, and want to, to I don't have a big budget, then she's possibly the sort of horse you need to have a look at. But her full info will go on her own post um, later. So just have a look. Now, um, we are expecting more horses this week. I'm just waiting to confirm some. So once I've confirmed, um, there will be an updated list. So please keep looking daily because this could be uh, out as soon as the next 24 hours, to be honest. So um, just keep looking or drop me a message. Just bear with us this week because I'm actually away competing Wednesday till Saturday. Although I am going to be driving home in between times to be doing videos and riding and everything else. But I'm going to be even more busy than I usually am. So keep an eye out. The best thing to do is keep an eye out for updates. I want to try and keep the pages updated as much as I can. Um, and then I will um, answer you all um, just as I can do as well. Okay guys, have a good week. Thank you.